How's it going everybody? Blake here and this is Rambling Movie Takes coming at you with a review for The Tomorrow War starring Chris Pratt and currently streaming on Amazon Prime. Alright, so before I get started with this review, do please like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. I would greatly appreciate it and do comment below at the end of this video to let me know what you thought about this movie and uh, yeah, let's have a discussion. So with that being said, let's get to it. The Tomorrow World War, gosh, I said the Tomorrow World. Tomorrow War, it basically about you have these people that come back from the future to present day, recruit civilians uh, to go back to the future, 30 years into the future, to fight a future war against aliens that are destroying the human race. That is the baseline premise of this movie. And that is pretty much all I can tell you from a, from a story perspective uh, without spoiling anything for you. So, uh, so yeah. Chris Pratt did a phenomenal job in this movie. I mean, he was basically Chris Pratt. He's the same uh, character that he is in pretty much every other movie. Uh, he's just Chris Pratt, you know, playing, playing a different character that's basically modeled after himself. You know, pretty much. But it works. You know, Chris Pratt is a very charismatic guy. Very likable. Uh, no complaints there. This movie also stars J.K. Simmons and Betty Gilpin. Uh, among some other actors that I just I can't remember their names. I don't know if I've seen them anywhere. I, I feel like there's a bunch of unknowns in this movie. But it's fine. Because everybody does a, a good job in this movie. Well, not everybody. There, there's one character in particular, in particular, I can't say in particular, that really, <laughs> that that really annoyed me. You know, he, he kept having like these quippy one-liners that weren't landing with me. And I was just like, you know, did they really think this was funny? Yeah, whatever. Some people might find them funny. I, I didn't find them funny, personally. But that's just me. You might see it differently. But they were definitely trying to use this guy as the comedy relief when the comedy relief was there in Chris Pratt. Anyways, so the acting, like I said, overall, you know, good. It, it, it was good. Um, I thought the CGI in this movie was very hit or miss. Uh, some of it looked really good. Some of it did not. Some of it looked pretty wonky. Uh, but I thought the I thought the aliens looked really good. I thought the design anyway looked really good. Some of the CGI on the aliens uh, did not really land with me personally, but they were I guess they were well enough overall, you know, because there were definitely some scenes where I was like, huh, that alien looks pretty cool. So, also, the the plot of the movie, the story, the writing, you know, the dialogue, all of that worked in the, in this movie. It all it all worked well enough, uh, more than well enough. I mean, I was entertained, you know, watching it. And you know, if if I have a negative here, is that this movie goes on for way too long. It's two hours and nineteen minutes long. And I don't feel like it needed to be that long. I feel like this movie could have been about two hours long. And, and then it just goes on for about 20 minutes longer. And it's like, was it necessary? You know, was it really necessary? You know, to really, you know, push it out, draw it out that much. But I guess they knew that this movie was not going to get a sequel. So they were like, well, let's just throw everything we got at the wall and, you know, let's just, let's just make it happen. You know, let's just tell the whole story in one movie. And it, it does make for uh, a little bit of a messy plot because it, it's like you're watching one movie and then like the last 20 minutes, give or take, is like a, a different movie, kind of. Some people might disagree with that, but that's that's how I felt watching it. Uh, but that's really my only like 
like real negative. Like everything else I can give a pass to, and, and, you know, even like down to the CGI, which I thought, like I said, was, oh, you know, overall I thought, it was, I thought the CGI was decent. You know, this is a special effects heavy movie. And, and I thought overall they were decent. It was just some parts, you know, were, were pretty, were pretty bad. Uh, but other parts were great. There were parts of this movie that had great special effects. Um, but yeah, only real negative is the runtime. But but yeah, I'm I'm actually surprised by how much I enjoy this movie because I honestly watched it thinking that, or you know, before I watched it, you know, as I was getting ready to you know click the watch button, I was like, you know, the trailers make it look like it might be a pretty good movie but it is an amazon original movie you know amazon did buy this movie you know i think it was uh skydance I, th I think that's the name of the the company that made the movie or maybe it was spyglass i can't remember uh they sold it for a reason you know they didn't think this movie would make money at the theater uh i was wrong to to think that because i do believe that this movie would have been a sleeper hit at the theater even even during COVID times you know or post COVID, whatever you know e even with the box office being what it is right now I, I think this movie definitely would have would have made a splash um how big of one I, I don't know but it would have made a splash um but yeah, I was surprised by how much I enjoyed it. I had a good time with it. And I honestly wish that it would have played on the big screen. Because um, I, I would have definitely went to see it. Because it, it, it looked like a fun movie. And it was. It was a fun movie. It's a little schlocky. It's a little schlocky, you know. But it's a fun, entertaining movie. I don't feel like you really have to turn your brain off for it. I feel like, you know, this is a movie that that maybe demands, you know, a little bit of attention to detail. I'll give it like a 7 out of 10, 7.5 out of 10. Uh, really enjoyed it. Definitely recommend it. You can watch it in the comfort of your own home on Amazon Prime. Most of you, I'm sure, already have a membership. If you're into sci-fi action movies, you know, aliens, you know, it, it, it's definitely worth checking out for sure. So with that being said, that's all I got. If you like this video, do like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. I would greatly appreciate it. And also, like I said earlier, comment below. Let me know what you think about this movie. It keeps getting brighter in here, and it's like messing with my ADD. But, but yeah, that's the video. I'm Blake, and I appreciate you watching. This has been Rambling Movie Takes. Yeah, have a good one.